Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK. welcome back to Stormworks. If you know anything about Stormworks, then you'll know that the new big patch, the major update number one, has actually landed, and it's the missions update. This means that there's a, a whole new mission editor now available to anyone who owns the game, and we can uh, create our own missions and upload them to Steam, and uh, anybody can play them, and that is actually a really cool thing, because that means that this game will potentially never get old or stale or boring because people will keep coming up with new ideas, new missions, and you can always go and challenge yourself on something that you've never done before. Brilliant. In addition to that, there's a whole load of new, uh, new islands and new stuff that's come in. We're going to have a quick look here. There are 10 new island locations, including a six square kilometer mega island, uh, which has a whole bunch of it's got a quarry in it, an airport, a uh, whole bunch of villages, loads of stuff. So um, all of that's going to be really interesting. To be fair, I think I'm fairly, fairly at the beginning of this game. A lot of people seem to have progressed quite far in the missions. Um, and there are some bugs in that, apparently, which I haven't come across yet. But uh, they've been resolved as well. And in addition to that, there's also now uh, a new water cannon in order to put fires out. And this is an area, basically it's in beta, I would say. So expect lots more uh, development and updates on that, just on the uh, on the water cannon itself and fires and so on. I've seen some enormous ships. Uh, probably you've seen it as well in the uh, in the sort of demo video for this update. There's this enormous tanker, um, and that's just brilliant. It just shows the uh, capability of this game. I think it's really well put together. And a few, I mean, there's there's probably loads of other. Uh, improvements and stuff in there as well so I mean it's good it's it's really promising when updates like that come in and they're all positive it, you know that a game has problems when updates are released and people go this is not what we wanted this is not what we asked for but that hasn't happened here so very happy about that but I'm just enjoying the game for what it is and where we are and at the moment where we where we are is here this is Wet n Wild 5, and I've just re-saved it as Wet n Wild 6 because we need to make some changes here. Yes, um, basically I've built... <clears throat> well, the best way to explain it is I've built a barrel, and uh, you'll know that if you put a barrel in water and then try and stand on it, it just rolls. It's not a good thing. So that's what I've done here. Now, I have been doing some research, and um, I've had an idea. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to work. But I hope it will, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out, at least. So what we're going to do, in fact, I'd like to put a double windscreen in here, so I might see if I can uh, adjust all of this stuff a little bit. Yeah, I think I can bring all this down. But, uh, right, a bit of build and development today. Basically, um, I've forgotten the name of it already, but... Um, where I've got this single hole system here, I'm actually going to try and expand it so we've got three. Um, well, well, one main and two minor uh, is the best way to explain it. I'm not entirely sure. I've just been looking at it for the last couple of minutes, trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. And uh, truth be told, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to figure this out just yet. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll work it out. We'll make it work. Um, and hopefully that will give us the stability that we currently lack. So, let me begin by focusing on that bit alone. I'm thinking, so this bottom rung is going to stay as is. Second rung, <clears throat> okay, so I think we're going to be taking out the third rung. And the fourth rung. In order to do this. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Right, so what we'll do is we'll put some blocks in here. You see what I'm doing? I'm sure you figured it out now. Pretty standard design, I think. And then we just <clears throat> back up to where we were, basically. Point. So something like that. 
and I'm hoping that that's going to give us the extreme stability that we're currently lacking. I'm not sure if I need to bring that back by one or quite how I'm going to build that. <laughs> I don't quite know how I'm going to build that in, but um, yeah, we'll we'll work it out. We'll get there. Oh, what did I do? I've reversed everything. What have I done? <laughs> what the hell did I click on there? Everything's now backwards. My mouse now works backwards. Right is left and left is right. Have I rotated it or something? What the hell have I done? I did this earlier, but somehow managed to fix it. <clears throat> right, let's save that. Obviously, obviously, she's not, she's not finished. Uh, that's not what this was about. Um, I just, I got I somehow got the uh, mouse to work in reverse, and I'm not quite sure how I did it. So I just needed to come out a second. So, right, let's get it back in. Yes, everything's back to normal. Thank goodness for that. I'm not quite sure how I did that. Right, we appear to be taking shape. Um, I tried a few different styles and techniques there, but I'm still not sure I want to go for this shape. Or not. Um, yeah... I mean, it's a work in progress. This is version six so far. Version six, which is quite impressive. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tricky. It really is tricky to um, to put these things together. Not always completely obvious. It's difficult to see the angles as well. See, look, I've still got a hole there. There is still a hole there, but I, I can't really figure out, can't see it well enough to know. Well, that's looking a bit better. Let's plug the hole. Maybe I just need to remove these bits and tidy this up a tad. Because that looks like I want it to, I think. Yeah, and then so tricky. Right, so that's maintaining the whole shape that I wanted in the original instance. It's 
Very clever, this. Very clever. Now, <laughs> question is, what shape fits in there? I think it's this one, but I don't quite know. Is that it? I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Mm, nearly. It's so difficult to see it. Paint. Let's paint. Yes, I can see that more clearly. I don't know what it is. It's something to do with the shadows. I think the shadows are a bit wrong and it makes it difficult to see what you're looking at. That makes sense. Something like that. I mean, it's, it's mostly streamlined, isn't it? That piece is wrong. That piece is wrong. That piece is wrong. It must be one of these, but then that makes that piece wrong. Maybe that isn't wrong. Maybe that is how it's meant to be. I'm wondering whether just to go straight up at this point. You know what I mean? Sort of, if I... I did it again. I did... Whatever it is that I keep doing, it's most irritating, and I wish I could stop doing it. Uh, that's going to be one of these wonky ones, isn't it? That doesn't sit right. Oh, it's so tricky. It's not easy. It is not easy. Maybe that one is right and this one is wrong. So complicated. I wonder if I can reverse. Ugh. That looks right. Hmm, yeah. That's not far off it. I mean this is this is by far the trickiest bit of build I've I've put into this game so far. I'm not a hundred percent happy with how I've got that looking. But I'm also not a million miles away from what I was after either. Just wondering now whether or not I want to come. it again I uh, figured it out this time okay cool um, right so we're kind of almost back into a full boat shape um, I can go kind of straight up now I think should work now that's probably gonna need tweaking a few times over but it's that extra, um, oh, what are these called? Keels, I guess. It's the extra keel that um, should be doing the do. And I could even sort of add a keel element here. Because obviously the keel is what stops the boat from flipping back over. Yeah, I thought it was wrong. <laughs> I thought it was the wrong way round. Just add a bit of extra keel there, a bit of, bit of stability. 
So, yeah, I think maybe that will work. Um, I'm not 100% happy with it. We might even extend the width of the boat out a tad. That could work. That could make sense. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I wanted to have a go at getting this, this going. Um, what's this called? So it's, I think it's called a multi-chine hull. I think. I think that's what we built here. A multi-chine hull. Or something along those lines. Good lord. And I could, theoretically, just to tidy this up a tad. Okay, well, let's get this tidied up and then we can have a look and see whether we've done a good job or a bad job or made no difference whatsoever. I don't know what the answer's going to be. Um, but yeah, certainly that's kind of what I was going for. Going to need a bigger dock. Wondering if that's the correct block in there. Kind of not feeling that a lot. Not quite right, is it? So tricky to get it to adjust it the way you want. Let's at least put this in the water and just see how we go in here. So, I think we're going to have to get rid of all of this. Oops. All going to have to go. That's going to have to go. That's going to have to go. That one's going to have to go. And then we're basically going to finish off the... Oh man, stop doing that. We're going to basically finish off the build element of this area. So, three across the back. Could finish it off straight, I suppose. For the sake of getting it done so we can test. I know it's so obvious and I just, I can't figure it out and it's really, really irritating me. Yeah, I've no idea what I'm trying to do there. Anyway, <clears throat> I think that we've closed that off. That should now be uh, watertight at least and uh, let's test her out for a maiden voyage, shall we? Save, Wet n Wild 6, yes indeed, and spawn. Think happy thoughts. She's incredibly buoyant, which is good. Uh, where do I turn this on? Nope, not that one. Uh, e. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -uh. I mean, it's definitely helping. She writes herself a lot quicker, look. But now she's kind of fighting herself as well. You see how she's rocking from one side? I mean, <clears throat> in terms of keeping the boat upright, she's nailed it, but now she turns very weirdly. So she'll lean into the corner like you should. So. If we lean left, let's just make sure we're going out. If we lean left, sorry. If we turn left, so we're heading over that way, then the boat should lean into it, like that. But then she writes herself and she ends up coming round on the right. Now that makes her super duper stable. I mean, I don't think we could ever roll this ship now. I don't think it would happen. 
I think what I was aiming to do was make her stable, and I think I've made her incredibly stable. It's still very early days, don't forget. But yeah, let's try, let's try her in reverse, see how she copes in reverse. She was pretty um, susceptible to fall over in reverse, so let's try that. Well, she doesn't look like she's going to go. Let's rock it hard the other way. Oh, I don't think she can roll. I think what we've done is we've made her 100% stable. And I think... I think, honestly, I think, if we made her just that little bit wider, we'd have one awesome ship on our hands because she is 100% stable right now 100% stable there's no question there's nothing I can do to roll this ship it just kind of stays afloat permanently so I mean we've achieved that that element which is awesome that's exactly what we were after so we've achieved something at least but certainly the design needs tweaking and improving and honing and so on and so forth. But uh, lots of positive um, elements to think about. Awesome. Job done. Well, actually, that's just... Because I did. In all honesty, I wanted to uh, increase this uh, windscreen element. So we are going to need... Bring some windows down. I don't know which one we need, to be honest. I can't remember. Um, and that would mean making the ship a bit wider anyway. So we could do that. No, not that one. Uh, this is the problem, isn't it? We're going to have a piece down the middle. have a bit down the middle that we can't put a window in because we don't have a skinny bit of window like that or do we do we have a skinny piece of window like that let me look narrow angled window let's try that, that, could, that if that's it I'll be very happy I'll be most impressed if that fits there Ooh. you know what oh, I think that might possibly be the very thing <laughs> Perfecto mundo. Okay, good. So. Just that, that bit there that I don't like. But I guess that's kind of what has to happen in order to make the stability work. I kind of just want to come up straight flush from there. Do you know what I mean? Let's save this. And then save it again as Wet n Wild 7. And then just see how easily I can just jam this into place. Well, that's going to add some significant additional width to the boat, but I think it looks a lot better that wide. And I think that's wide enough where we are now. I feel like that's wide enough anyway. There we go, something and something.
Now I've just got to figure out. Now I've just got to figure out how to make this all fit back together again. <clears throat> well, I made that bit look rather easy, didn't I? Just to make sure we're at the right height. I think we are. So, so tricky. <laughs> so damn tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. It's very, very tricky. I'm at a point where I don't really know how to link these two back up. I can't see it in my mind's eye. Definitely the lighting is, is causing me some issues. Confusing me as to what I'm looking at. Yeah, I think that's the kind of premise that I need to work on here. So where it doesn't quite work at the moment, that's what I need to fix. I don't know. Alrighty. Progress. She's looking like a bit of a beast now, isn't she? Oh my god. What have I built? We got there. We got there. We got there. Kind of need to do the same thing down the bottom here then, don't I? Ugh, exhaustingly complicated. <laughs> Why have we got this nipple here? I feel like it all needs to go back by one and then it will all link up. All right, that looks a lot better. Oh, I think. Hmm, that's looking a lot more, a lot more boat-like. Yeah, I think that is much more what I was actually trying to achieve. That looks more like it to me. Yeah. I think that's a bit more like it. Of course, the higher up it is, the more the boat can lean over before it tries to right itself as well. That's an interesting thing to consider. It looks like I might even have to push this an extra width out now that I've got this shape. But that most certainly is the shape I was looking for. Initially. Kind of got a bit sidetracked on the build, as it were. So, oh crikey. It's a work in progress, guys. It's a work in progress, so uh, we're getting there. Uh, that bulb, if you will, is more what I was trying to achieve, and I think it looks, I think it'll work better now that it's higher up. It could possibly even go one level higher than that, but certainly I've already displayed how. Um, that this design gives you huge amounts of stability. As soon as the boat leans over, it tries to correct itself, um, which means the physics in this game are, although I wouldn't say they were 100% realistic, they certainly are bordering on the on the realm of realism. And um, yeah, it's it's interesting because 
I mean, boat building is something that I would never be able to do in real life, but here in this game, you know, I'm really expanding my comprehension of displacement, balance, and I don't know, probably a whole host of other things I don't even know the terms for. But um, I, I kind of really, I kind of believe what I'm building right now is going to be quite, quite impressively stable. And then, you know, maybe this whole shape design can be taken anywhere onto any ship and just made to work perfectly. Um, it would be cool if that is the case. One more row out and uh, we'll be in line there, won't we? But, I mean, it, we look at, I mean, it takes time. It really does take a lot of time. And a lot of trying and a lot of figuring out and redesigning and rebuilding and changing and... But, uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll have something that works in the end and um, that'll look absolutely sensational as well. Who knows? I don't know. Might not look sensational. That might be going a step too far. Stability, I think, is our primary concern. And looking at the boat now, I'd say, yeah. I think she's going to be super blooming stable. But it is so tricky. So unbelievably tricky to get this all lined up properly. So tough. So tough to get it sitting right. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I just, I've got uh, my, eight, my, my boy's 18th today. I don't know what to call him. I was going to say my, my youngest boy, but... So, yeah, he's 18, well, he's not 18 today, he's already had his birthday, but we're doing a barbecue today, so I need to go outside and start the barbecue, all that kind of good stuff. Hey, that looks pretty neat. That looks pretty neat. That's good visibility now. Need some pieces to go across the top. Oh, I wonder if that can go across the top. Can this go across the top? No. Nope, apparently not. But I'm liking this uh, a huge amount. What the hell are you doing there? Where did you come from? That's, uh, I think, huge amounts of progress made there. And um, although we're not quite finished at the bottom, I've already proved that this build design offers immense stability. Um, and I think this re redesigned second version is going to be even more impressive because I think the way that I've cut that across there like that means that rather than um, keeling over and then writing herself up. I think she'll run on the middle one for the for this keel. She'll run on this keel for a right hand turn and on this keel for a left hand turn. And I think that's going to give us exactly the stability we want, but with a bit more um, bit more streamlined niceness involved. I don't know. I don't know what the terms are, but you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying, I hope. So we're going to leave it there. We'll come back and we'll finish this next week and um, then we'll go do some missions. I think we'll be in a place then where we can actually go do some missions. So thank you so much. Thank you so much indeed for watching and liking and commenting and suggesting and helping because I wouldn't have got this far if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much. And um, also to Stormworks for not only producing a fantastic game, but for continuing to update and improve it as well. It means a lot. And um, yeah, just gives hours of entertainment, hours of head scratching, painstaking entertainment. 
So thanks very much for watching. Take care. Till next time. Goodbye.